Uh, okay, so I'm going to show a JQT add-on viewer for the JWiki and J forums that Roel Miller, Bob Terrio, and I have been working on. Uh, in my JQT environment, it's set up to launch with a Control Shift H shortcut, so I'll do that. Uh, it's divided into a left half for navigation, which is quite fast, and a right half for loading HTML, which is much slower. The outline on the left shows the major categories in the wiki, as well as tags, search, bookmarks, the various forums, and at the top of the outline, Nuvoke. To fit all of Nuvoke onto the screen at once, the valence links are hidden until you hover over a glyph. And when you see a link that you're interested in, you can click on it and it will load up on the right. What's interesting about this style of interface is that you never have to go back um, that big, uh, ubiquitous, time-consuming, and disconcerting web operation, you're always going forward to the next thing. You never have to waste time reversing direction. Nuvoke's ancillary pages are next in the outline. Clicking on a page label will load up the corresponding page. The search facility is next. Uh, the way the search facility works uh, is that it will hit both the wiki and the forums simultaneously. So if you search for, for example, fret, what comes back is, in this case, 20 results from the wiki, uh, including semi.1, uh, which is expected, uh, 24 results from the J general forum, uh, 60 results from J programming, some in J chat, J beta, and J forum. Um, Results are saved until you explicitly clear them, so you can do multiple searches, uh, and that will they'll all be retained until such time as you clear searches with the with the appropriate button. All right, the forums. Uh, each forum has a selection menu for so we've got the J the J programming forum, general, beta, chat, and so on. Uh, each forum has a selection menu for a year and month, and if we go to, at this recording, the current year and month, we can see there are a number of topics. Um, the way it works is that uh, all of the posts for a particular topic will show up on the right, even if they occur in some other month. So a lot of threads cross months, and we, we capture that appropriately here. Uh, all right, the bookmarks facility behaves more or less the way you would expect. I've got three bookmarks that I can load up. If I go back to J programming and I'm interested in uh, Eric's post on cloud computing, I can actually bookmark that. And if I go back to my bookmarks, uh, it appears and I can load it up. I can unbookmark it, rebookmark it. Tags are several hundred wiki categories that are not part of the formal wiki hierarchy Bob has created. Uh, they're alphabetized and arbitrarily gathered uh, into groups of 15. Um, this is a hit or miss section of the wiki, I would say, but there are a number of gems, uh, some interesting rabbit holes that you can go down. The rest of the outline, starting with home, shows the uh, wiki category tree that Bob has created. Uh, it is quite rich, quite deep. Uh, the number next to each of the labels in the outline shows the number of pages associated with that node in the category. And clicking on a uh, page will load up the, clicking on a label will load up the corresponding page. Um, there were a couple of things I wanted to show. Um, this is an example of how we deal with very large subtrees. So we actually break out another outline to the right of the main outline. Uh, and clicking on a, uh, an entry in that outline will show the corresponding pages. Um, the other thing we do, let's see. Yeah, it looks like I'm not going to be able to show it on this size screen. Let's try system. Um, the other thing we've got is that columns have a lens mechanism, sort of a zoom mechanism. So whichever column you're focused on, 
is full width, uh, which may be enough to show the full size of the label, uh, corresponding labels. If it's not, then when you hover on a particular label, it will expand uh, appropriately. Uh, but the, uh, the column lens mechanism lets us show uh, much more, many more labels on the window than we normally would be able, otherwise would be able to do. All right, with respect to ancillary controls, uh, the shortcut button uh, will show you how to add a shortcut to uh, JQT. So if we flip over to the terminal, that's the code that you would use to add the shortcut. Um, the two buttons immediately above the left and right, the left and right parts of the interface will allow you to update the local database that gets used, uh, as well as to update the add-on. Currently, they're both up to date. It's important to note that the viewer requires a local roughly 10 megabyte database. It's updated daily to reflect the wiki and the forum contents, and it's kept in Jay's temp directory. It holds the structure of the wiki and the forums. Essentially, it drives the left side of the interface. So the database contains everything that you're seeing here on the left. Uh, it also holds your bookmarks, your browsing history, your search results, and a debug log that you can turn on with the checkbox if you want to submit a bug report. So that's this checkbox here. On that topic, if you do experience a problem, it may make sense to turn on the debug log, reproduce the problem, and then send in this file, this database file sitting in your temp directory. Um, because it contains a lot of application state as well as a trace log, uh, that database can help us more quickly isolate problems that occur in the field. So the viewer provides what, what I think is an unusually fluid and convenient um, mechanism for accessing thousands of pages of J reference material as well as countless interesting, I'll, I'll call them rabbit holes. That's what I find them to be. Roll, Bob, and I are in what we believe is the final phase of testing, and we hope to deliver it soon.